That is so no, cool not. of you. you. You are, she's crying. My voice cracked a little bit. She's actually <laughs> crying. and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is a very important and potentially going to be emotional vlog because this person here, say hello Anna. Hello Anna. Um, she's <gasps> squirrel. She seems squirrel, but more importantly, <laughs> we are parked outside her university where in 15 minutes time, you're gonna get your results from semester one of year two of your degree. Just remind everyone what degree you're doing because people always ask. Crime and investigation studies. I thought it was skills. I always say crime and investigative skills. Crime and investigation studies. So, you're picking those results up, 15 minutes time, mm. and you're oozing confidence because you know you've done well. I feel sick. <laughs> Why do you feel like sick? right here. Why? I don't know, because the exam went very not I used well. to love coming to results things. It's a chance to show yes, off in front you, of the rest of the you're group. you're a genius, so you would come to just get your ego boosted. Yeah, that's what these are I, for. I don't have one of them. What, ego? Would you like to borrow some of mine? No. I have genius to spare. Would you like some out of my ear? Is that helpful just before we pick up your results? I don't really know how to deal with these kind of situations. As long as she's passed, we'll be fine. If... See what it matters now. Oh yeah, I know. Well, the way it works is only your best 50% of your marks from year two count towards your final classification. So, it matters-ish. But if you've got like one where you did poorly on, that's mm. fine, you can make that up next semester it's in year three where everything counts you'll be so fine stupid. yeah but we have to come up with a project and i don't know everyone has to do that but i don't know nobody knows <laughs> okay. we'll be fine because the other group because we've got to have two groups together because it's basically the same lesson so the bioscience and our science getting together and have it and the teacher for the bioscience wants them to come up with a five before they come back and they want us to come up with two and i'm like yeah, they always want that, but no one ever does it. No one knows. <laughs> no idea. Anyone, let, let us know down in the comments <laughs> if you've done a degree for your dissertation or final year project or whatever it was called on your degree. Did you know what you were going to be doing your dissertation or final project about halfway through the second year? <laughs> nobody <laughs> did. Nobody did. I'm sure nobody did. I didn't. I didn't figure mine out until the summer. Good, because apparently it is, we're going to be doing project prep. Hmm. So yeah, just teaching you how to do a project, I yeah, guess. Yeah, because I've not a clue what to do. Well, go get your results. Good luck, Anna. I'm going to go and find this squirrel. He's gone. Right, she's gone in. The plan now for me, in addition to trying to find this squirrel, is to not get too far away from the car because the car parking at the front of college, you're only allowed to park for half an hour before you get clamped or tickets or whatever you get. So... She might be in there more than half an hour. She probably won't be, that's why I'm not trying to find anywhere proper to park and it's why I'm not going too far away. But on the off chance she's in there 38 minutes and the traffic warden comes, I need to stay within eyesight of the car. The only problem is it's currently minus one degrees outside. I have got my nice thick coat on, but it is too cold to just sit in that car for half an hour watching youtube or reading a comic like i normally would in this situation so i'm just going to kind of wander around trying to stay warm sit in the car with the engine on to try and keep me warm maybe i'm trying to find this squirrel but i can't find him he's got away she's been in there over an hour well because i'm freezing <laughs> i told you to come in time all right come on in Tell me, tell, tell me, how did you get on? Sorry, I don't have to, to, to stress. So you passed? I don't really think so. What do you mean you don't know? You've been in there an hour. I must have done, I didn't fail anything. So you passed? That's good, well done. Do you not want to know? Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for you to oh. tell us. So my exam, the one with 70 pages, I got a 53. Okay, awesome. I needed 30. 30? To pass. Oh, okay, I thought you had to get 40 to pass. No, because one of the girls, well, yeah, 
And then for my practical exam for digital, I got a 73 out of 100. Wow. For uh, the poster I did on the bombings, mm -hmm. I got 68%. Nice. So 34 out of 50. Bear in mind, 70% is a first. So she's not just passing these, she's absolutely <laughs> smashing them. Uh, for my practical exam, that was just the whole practical of the crime scene. So that was the group one, uh -huh. 64. Awesome. But that was, that's everybody's um, things. So the other post I did, so the one about where it used to grow mm -hmm. up, a 63 out of 100. Then it gets a bit bad. Um, 64 is still not bad. So for the one that I lost. Yeah. 64. Okay. I don't remember if we told you about that at the time, but we had a hard drive malfunction. She had to completely redo a piece of work and got a two week extension on it, but still passed. <laughs> and then for the floppy disk uh, case study, a 60. Wow. You say it gets a bit bad. It really doesn't. You're <laughs> averaging well over 60% there. So in light of what we were saying earlier Even about with the 54, yeah, 53. Because you've got stuff like 78. At 60, 73. 73, 68. So if you're averaging over 60%, if you do that for the next three semesters, or yeah. even the two semesters next year, you can just fail the rest of this year. Obviously, you don't do better. No. But if, you aver if you've averaged that towards the end of your degree, you'll get a 2-1, which is an awesome degree. It's not first like you, though. Yeah, but people, the, most the, people no, don't get first. The thing to keep picking up on is my spelling and stuff. And I... It's just You're dyslexic. You're gonna have yeah. poor spelling. Because like, he was like, "Oh, you need." I proofread your essays, but your exams—they're gonna be poorly spelt because you're dyslexic. I know. In some of the things I've got, um, this is my fault. Yeah, your fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, my dyslexia is never gonna go, so I can't go to study excellence because there's not. There's no way of me. Yeah. I just try What's study excellence, like how to get better. Yeah, okay. I can't. You don't really yeah. do that. With dyslexia. The important thing good. is. You're on target for a 2-1, and yeah. a 2-1 is a degree anyone would be proud of. That's awesome. And as a brainy pants. Mm. Now we're going to go out and celebrate. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> so cold after sitting in the car for an hour in minus one. I but on the plus side, I get to press the buttons in the lift, which I don't normally get to do. So that's awesome. One day we'll learn to walk past the tiger when we get into town. Today is not that day. I mean, we've just bought a big bag full of stuff that we absolutely didn't need. We didn't know we wanted before we got here. Oh, and I got stuff she actually needed. I got a paper aeroplane kit. I know for a lot of students, their version of going out and celebrating after getting their results would be going out, getting hammered. Anna's version is slightly different. We went to Tiger and we've been to Primark. We'll show you what we bought when we get home. And now we're going to Wagamama. It's not all practical. Okay, Anna and I have bought some practical stuff. <laughs> this is just two bags full of utterly ridiculous Mine's things. Yours is yeah, practical. don't take me to shops. I buy ridiculous stuff. I shouldn't be allowed out in public. But the sales are on and this ridiculous stuff is also cheap. What have you got there? Very spicy food. Very spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is it a curry? Oh, yeah. I know it's arrived yet. These are the best food in any restaurant ever. Korean barbecue beef, <laughs> soft steamed bun things. They're just, they're worth coming here just for these. Now you are talking, this stuff is the business. We have some ramen under there somewhere, a tea stained egg, and some shiradashi pork, which basically tastes like crackling. Can you just touch the yolk? Basically. Touch the yolk? Yeah. Is it wet? Yeah, freezing cold but wet. That is the mark of some good eating when there's basically nothing left. And splash marks all over the table. Yeah. Yes. If you'd have told me a year ago that I'd be this full after a bowl of soup with some noodles in it, I would not have believed you. I cannot believe it took me this long to discover Wagamama, but it's awesome. And we're finally done in town. Let's go home. Ah! <laughs>
and we're home and we have all of our wonderful things to show you. We're going to race through this because there's quite the pile and we went to the PO box on the way home and there was quite a lot of stuff there as well. Right, Anna, let's start with your grown-up things that you bought because Anna bought they're loads in your of... your bag. Anna bought loads of really boring <laughs> stuff. What do you mean they're in my bag? Oh, yeah. This is Anna's bag of boring. No. Nope. That's what this is going to be. No, there's your stuff in it as well. Well, we'll do your boring things first and then we'll do the good boring. stuff. You bought a bin. Yes, but it's practical. I needed a bin because I go upstairs and when I like either put on makeup or take makeup off, I use cotton wipes and we've been told not to put them down the toilet. What, you have been putting them down the toilet? No, I was but... going to say, everyone knows not to put them down the toilet. Right, you've got a jar. Yeah. Are you that much of a hipster? <laughs> Show everyone what you've got. So what is it? It's a light, it's a light up jar. Yeah. But it doesn't have batteries in it. I'm going to check that now because I don't know what There's that is. There's batteries in there probably, but um, we'll worry okay. about that afterwards. So I want that and then I got this for Rue because she likes them. <laughs> Very nice. It was a pound. That's for me. No, that's for Rue. And then I've got this tiny, tiny bin. I don't understand the bin at all. To put makeup wipes and stuff in. You'll never empty it though. And then I got this. What is this? A face massager. <laughs> it looks excellent. So, I've seen this on the internet. People do this. So I want it on. Massage my face then. I massage my own face. So, so you get it. <laughs> give me that. Give me that. What, you just... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why though? Now this bit. No. No, 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 no. Don't like it. It's weird. It gets rid of chins, apparently. I don't understand this girl at all. Is that it? That, that you class that as a sensible purchase? Yeah, it feels very really Goodness nice. me! Right, where's my stuff out of there? I got some actual good stuff. Give me yeah. the bag. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. So this is all still from Tiger. I got a paper airplane set. Not practical. Of course it is. It guides you into making the paper airplanes. It shows you where to fold. This is really really nice. A giraffe, a framed giraffe, and a framed giraffe. Oh, and guess what and the other one is. a frame giraffe and this to stick on the fridge which is magnetic on the back and we can write see that's practical that's good that's to write our meals on each week who cooks you Do me you eat always mine? yeah because you don't cook right she cooks weird i don't she cooks jacket potatoes in the microwave that was that one time because I... that was the one the first time i went to anna's flat you weren't supposed to come back she made a McCain frozen already cheese filled jacket potato that she put filled. in the microwave. Well, whatever it was, it was it the was worst. Potato. It was the worst food in the history of the world. And since then, I don't allow her to cook. She's never cooked for me since. We also, this is another of Anna's purchases. We've got a holiday journal because she's afraid we're going to forget stuff when we go on holiday. I go with Kevin. Of course, we will. I got myself, I and mean, this is like two quid from game, a little Atari drawstring bag. This is purely for when I'm out and about and I've got the camera with me and it starts to rain, I can just stick it in there and keep it dry because it usually gets wet. Um, continuing the really important stuff that was too good an offer to turn down, I have a Mario onesie with the hat built into it. Extremely long legs. This was only seven quid, as I'm going to try and put this on in a minute. Extremely... Seven quid? The girls have bought me stuff from Prime before, like onesie size, but he's always... He fits in them, but he's too large, and now... That had extra long legs it in did. it. It'll probably still be too small. Yeah. Um, I got some Super Mario socks, and some colourful socks that Anna didn't like. So I got them because if Anna doesn't like them, that means they're probably good because she wears boring socks. I wear them with penguins on. Hmm, exactly. You don't wear them with strawberries and pineapples on. And uh, was that everything? Oh, and we got Lucy oh, a couple no. of things because it's Lucy's birthday on Monday. So we got Lucy a couple Practical of presents. From the oh, no. So I bought a fitted sheet because. Is that for you or for? Handy. Boring. Because you gave the, the other sheet got paint all over it. And I need to we weren't even painting that room. No. And then I got him two formal pairs of these because he is... He started wearing pants. He has. And I thought a big deal to everybody else who wears pants, but he do, he hasn't for years. But he's wearing these, so... Yeah, he'll wear Minecraft pants, so... I'm going to tell him he's a very good boy. Mm. And then but I yeah, him wearing pants is massive. This. Now this is on the sale for a fiver. And it's basically storage for Andy's room. Yeah, let's get it get a bit of a close-up so people can see what it is. 
And to try and get his room a little bit tidier. Yeah, because... We should get one for this room. The thing is, he, he's got the, such a small room, but he's got most toys. So... He has. Most, and it's a lot of stuff that he hasn't touched for about five years. But either. he'll want them. That's my problem. Yeah, we can't throw I'll his throw stuff away. throw it away and then he'll want it. As you saw with that board game a couple of weeks ago, when we took him to B&M, the tipping point board game I threw away. we'd thrown away it's like two weeks Christmas. before yep. because he hadn't touched it for a year and it was everywhere. It was just getting in the way. No, thank you. Especially not on camera. That's just... You eat all the time. When I'm taste testing stuff, I don't just sit there and have a snack while I'm filming. <laughs> um, but yeah, he as soon as it was gone, he wanted a new one. And if we haven't got him a new tipping point yet, but if we did, he'd just put it where the old one was and not touch it. But he just wants to have it. Yeah. He is the definition of a hoarder. Yep. And now we also have this big pile of stuff from the PO box. Some of this has got Andy's name on. He's not home from school yet. So the stuff for Andy, I think we're going to put to one side and maybe do tomorrow and do this as a two-parter so it doesn't become a whole video you need of to go out just PO box stuff. Yeah, it's already gone two o'clock. I've not started work for the day yet. But if we stick this here and open the stuff that's got our names on. No, I did like tell him I was going to uni weeks ago. So that one is for Andy. So that can be open tomorrow. This one has my name on it, which means it's probably still for Andy. That's usually how these things work. But if they're clearly labelled for Andy, we'll save them. So this is an Amazon parcel. It's got a gift thing in here too. So a gift note from Natasha Line to Kevin from Tasha. It's for me. Thank you, Tasha. It is... Ooh. Scales and Scoundrels. It's a comic. Ah. A comic book. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. So it's two letters and a pro So, hello Kev, there are two letters in this envelope. One is for Andy, one is for you. Please read out your letter on the vlog. Please don't read out Andy's on the vlog. Okay, so Andy's, I'll put on Andy's thing. So, this one is the one for me, from Toby. So to Kevin, hello Kevin, I enjoy watching your videos. I've been watching them for about a month now, although I discovered them about six months ago, but they didn't reappear on my YouTube until about a month ago. Curse you, YouTube! <laughs> I'm subscribed to your channels through Andy's eyes and Kevin Chapman now known as the Chapman family. <laughs> I have autism as well. I particularly like your Nottingham vlogs because they had trams and trains on them. I wish we had trams in Kent. Does, that, does Andy still not like having socks on? He hates anything no. on his feet with any <laughs> shoes and socks. If he doesn't, I'd recommend Smart Knits. I wear them and find them really good because they aren't really tight and they don't have seams. They can be found here and then there's a link to Smart Knits. Thank you for reading my letter. Toby, oh, thank you very much. You. We will look into them. And that one we'll read off camera. So this one is from Becky Green. Please open on the vlog. Okay, we shall. We've got a letter on the outside of the envelope with something inside, that's <laughs> awesome. Hi okay, Kev, just wanted to send another gift for Andy. He's done so well getting back into the routine of school after the holidays, so great to see. Hope he likes the chewy. It's mint flavour, according to Amazon, from Becky in Southampton. <laughs> and there we have... Mint flavour. Yeah, a mint flavour chewy. Okay. So we'll give that to him. We'll yeah. put that in the Andy file. <laughs> we won't read the letter out again tomorrow, obviously, but we'll give him that tomorrow as part of his other stuff. Thank you. Who was that from Becky? I Thank didn't you, know Becky. they came flavoured. No, I didn't. Right, this one is a special delivery. Very formal looking envelope. This makes me feel a little bit like someone's taking me to court oh. when something comes <laughs> in really formal packaging like this. Right, what have we got? Now I feel less like I'm being sued. It's an envelope with another envelope. It's like the Russian dolls of parcels. <laughs> and another envelope, this time, oh, it's a voucher of some kind. Oh. oh, with another envelope inside. This is like envelope on envelope on envelope. Hi, Kevin Anna, hope this helps you guys and Andy to get a well-earned holiday soon. Thanks for brightening my day every day at five. Kindest regards, Paul Winfield. Paul has sent us a ridiculously high value voucher. Paul, you shouldn't have done this. This is insane. He sent us a voucher for two hundred and fifty pounds. For, for, for what is it? What is it for? It's for just stuff. So it will, these vouchers are valid. Uh, Halfords, HMV, Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Legoland. Oh, my Aww. voice is breaking. <laughs> Premier Inn, Haven, loads of holiday like hotel places, restaurants. That's so nice. Paul, thank you. We will absolutely plan a trip with these vouchers. That is so not, cool not. of you. you. You are, she's crying. My voice cracked a little bit. She's actually <laughs> crying. You made Anna cry, Paul. You're a hero for making Anna cry. Well, um, no, the thing is, he's been going on about Legoland. 
Yeah? For days, or for weeks. So. Well, now we can take him. We can take him down to Legoland and... It's got pleasure to each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got all of the Merlin stuff. It's got loads of different hotels. I didn't even know this type of voucher existed. No, no. Planet Hollywood, Pizza Hut. So very generous. Let's not lose that. Thank you, Paul, for your absolute <laughs> no. hero. I'm sorry I thought you were suing me. <laughs> <laughs> a bus! Oh, it's a bus. We'll give that to Andy tomorrow. We'll read the letter now, though. To Kevin and family, me and my boyfriend Bernard have been watching your vlogs for about a year now. Every day we eagerly await your 5pm upload. Since one of Andy's recent obsessions is buses, we recent. saw this and thought of him. <laughs> my guess is that this is a male bus, but we shall see. Keep up the fantastic content from Katie <laughs> Hemming. And yeah, he's been on and off buses for years, but... Um, it probably is a male bus. Well, we'll find out. I'll put it back in the envelope and we'll give him that tomorrow as well as a, as a surprise. Um, we have... Oh, this one must be fairly recent. The Chapman family. They have sent that proper reason. That's that's awesome. Can't get into it. Read on camera. Okay, I shall read on camera. Dear Chapman family, we love your videos and watch your channel every day. We're so excited for you to go to Disneyland Paris. We hope you have the best time ever. It's our happy place. Smiley face emoji. <laughs> We've sent you park maps in the hope that it'll help Andy better prepare for the trip. Oh. We both, have AS, we both have ASD and I like Andy in the sense that we have a hard time enjoying things the first time round. We had a hard time finding information pertaining to visiting Disney Paris with a disability the first time we went. So we made some videos hoping to help others prepare for their trips on our YouTube channel. Their channel is Rainbow Zebra. Rainbow because we're a lesbian couple and Zebra because it's the mascot of rare medical disorders. Okay. Um, we think you're an awesome family and can't wait to see your Disney vlogs. Cheers, Hilary and Christine. Thank you very much. These are yeah. really useful and these are just awesome. So because, they're last year ones, but I'm sure... Well, they're, they're not going to have rearranged the entire park, are no. they? So, I like there you go, they're already eating. Yeah, and we can have a proper look through that with Andy. We'll keep one of these I'll, in our new holiday journal that I'll we've just, just bought. I'll just put it on his wall. Yeah, and we'll let Andy have the other one. Oh, so there's two? What, there's two parks, yeah. Oh, I didn't. So we'll probably go to one park one day, one park the other day. What's this? Does this come out of the same yeah, thing? Yeah, you fell out when you were... Okay. We have a badge. Do you like a badge? And another. Oh, first fidget! Vi first fidget! First visit badge! Oh. Wear that on the way in. Oh. That's awesome. Thank you very much again. People are lovely. What lovely people. It's a Batman colour changing mug. Ooh. Let's have a little look at this. Mug. One for putting liquids in. Are you sure it's liquid? Oh. Oh, you awesome. can see it's this... got the light on it though, you can just about... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, so you'll be able to see the bat symbol. Um, there's no note of who that's from. But whoever it was, thank you for sending a Batman mug. Is that everything? I can't feel behind me anymore, no. I think that... Yeah. I think that might be us done. That... That was mad. And there'll be more P.O. Box stuff tomorrow when we open Andy's stuff with him. But if we try and do all that now, this will be the longest vlog in the history of the world. But thank you to everyone who sent something. You are all heroes. I do now need to go and get on with some work. Thank you. What do you think? I can't believe it fits, I'm so happy. <laughs> I might wear this to Comic Con. You How much? Old. Right, here we go. How much do, let's do a charity donation thing. If we get, I'll start, I might even start a Just Giving page. I know people go to Comic Con in cosplay all the time, but I Kevin don't. Kevin doesn't, no. But if we raise, I'll pick a number, let me know down in the comments what the number should be and if we raise that much for the National Autistic Society, <laughs> I will wear this for one day of Comic Con this year and look like a total pillock. <laughs> so hot as well, so hot. I would melt, but I cannot believe I've managed to get something from a normal shop and it actually fits. I did say. It's a me, a Mario! I'm going to shave off my beard and just keep the No, now you're going to, now you're going to play Mario Kart, aren't you? Yeah, that was the other thing we said, that I should, because Andy's really into Mario Kart at the moment, what would his reaction be if when he got home I was wearing this sat in a go-kart in the middle of the living room? He'd either kill me or <laughs> be really, really impressed. It'd so probably cool, sit though. on you. Yeah, that is so cool. We should get him one as well. They had all sorts he of He doesn't like them. Yeah. Only seven quid in the sale. No. They had Scooby-Doo as well. What was it? What was it supposed to be? 16, I think, originally. Mm. But I might go back and get a Scooby-Doo one. That's awesome. Oh, I don't know if I've mentioned yet that it's quite cold today, folks. It's now about half six, quarter past six. I've, um... I've just spent the last four and a half, five hours out in the garage making my football manager videos that I couldn't make earlier in the day because we were out celebrating Anna's awesome results. 
is so cold. I am cold to the bones. That probably isn't the best plan when my chest is still a little bit rough. I hope that doesn't set back the recovery. Uh, but as you can see, Andy is now home and watching in the night garden because it's that late in the day. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. What did you do? Watching play Wii Sports Resort for Andy's house. You want to play some Wii Sports Resort, do you? Yeah. Well, Mummy did mention that we might. Get, are we doing that? That you mentioned? Can I tell him? I told him, but it's just a young one. Okay. Um, we're going to set the Wii U up on your TV so you can play Wii Sports Resort on there tomorrow. With your Andy's eyes. I can't put that on for Andy's eyes because we can't put that on your channel. Yeah. It can't go on there, Andy. You won't be able to have gaming videos on there. We're not allowed. Not Nintendo ones, anyway. Yeah. What, Nintendo allow you to put videos on YouTube? Yes. Do they? Yes, it's been about a month. Oh, well, in that case, we can. I was still working on the old rules where you're not allowed to. Oh, well, in that case, yes, you can put it on through Andy's eyes. I could even set up the Elgato so he could record it. Actually, I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a lot of setting up laptops and things. But yes, we'll set up the Wii U on your TV tomorrow and you can record a video and we'll put it on through Andy's eyes. Yeah. Sound like a plan? You got your new ball. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Splendid. Just checked in his book. And there's a note in there from his teacher saying, hope you enjoy the jam tarts. If you remember, I went out last night to guess at jam tart ingredients. He has made them. They said they hope we enjoy them. But they're not in his bag. Daisy! I wanted a jam tart. I really like jam tarts. Oxy Daisy! Andy, where are your jam tarts? Oxy Daisy! He likes his new box. Oxy Daisy! He likes his new pants. No, Andy. boxes. Oh, the boxes in his room. I thought you meant new boxes. Oh, no. oh yeah! Where are your jam tarts? We play through and his eyes. We'll do it tomorrow. In there. No, on that TV. Yeah, come in. We'll do, uh, we're going to put the Wii U on there and you can play it on that one. He still seems quite intense. <laughs> Someone did say that he probably just needs his medicine increasing. If he's put, are you just, are you just sprawled? Because I'm three hours of him. Woman, woman is a woman. <laughs> oh, I love it. And woman just... is a woman, he's not wrong. Woman is pink. Are you? Yeah. You're not wearing any pink today. Male is blue. Ask him. Andy, yeah. is male pink? No, blue. I'm oh, okay. But can boys wear pink? Pink is female. I think boys are allowed pink. Pink is female. Pink can be both, you're allowed to wear both. I've got some pink stuff. I know, but we have to make sure that we don't. We don't him walking down the street, seeing a man in a pink shirt going, "Woman." No, I think he just does it for. I know. Yeah, it's obviously something they've been taught, and something that he's figured out, I guess. But we need to be careful that we do keep explaining to him that obviously it's not absolutely set in stone. I know, but we need to make we need to help him understand that it's not. Because no. otherwise, he's going to offend someone at some point. But he's so I know, I know, but that's where we need to help him, I guess. But, but he is, as you can see in here, he is still very wired, very intense today, like he was yesterday. And someone did say, well, if he's put on weight recently, he probably needs his medication. I think. So uh, we'll Whistle keep an eye on it over the next week yeah, or so. Whistle. Yeah. Whistle, mommy. Yeah. If he continues to be, if he continues to be really hyper and intense, then I think we'll give his, Good. give his, uh, Thank you. I don't even know the name of the doctor, give Cam's a ring and talk about the possibility yes, so of just upping his medication slightly because we see. I mean, you can see now, he's, I don't know if you saw that, I don't think the camera was low enough, but he stubbed his toe on Dave's Kong ball that's down on the floor and bent down to touch it three times, then moved it over to Anna's chair and touched it again. So he's like, yeah, he's obsessively touching different things and oh, I've hit that with my toe, now I've got to touch it with my hand. Now I've got to move it, now I've got to touch it again. And it's... He touched me with his knee, so I moved it away, so then he has to touch me with his knee again. Yeah. It's yeah. really annoying. So we'll keep an eye on that. But now, with it being gone half six, I'm only just coming out. <gasps> I need to go and Unbelievable! What's unbelievable? The tan, I see. Alright. Oh, I thought this orange. Luckily, 
we made a cottage pie last night and we made enough for four people and there's only two of us. So there's loads oh, of that left over in the fridge. Ready, so I'm just going to heat that up. And we can Unbelievable. eat. You know what? Did you just say chips? It's five, it's five, but it's just boring. We had Wagamama for lunch. That's fresh. What, now you want chips for tea? No, I love that boring cottage. Exactly. Oh. What's the point of going to the gym and then eating chips? Go to the gym because you want <laughs> <laughs> that was uncalled for. Finally given up, we're trying to make my hair look presentable. It's gone nine o'clock. It's actually warmer now than it was this morning. And I have arrived at the leisure centre where I'm picking Amy up. She's just been swimming with her friends. And it's, it's still pretty cold. Hello. Hi. Did you have a good swim? Yeah. Why is your hair not wet? It is wet. It's soaking. Hmm. I think you've been kissing boys and doing discos and things. No. Took a while to deny it. What time did you start swimming? Half seven. What time did you finish swimming? Half eight. Hmm. How long can you hold your breath underwater? How many fish did you see? I, I saw no. I saw no fish. Hmm. Yeah. It all seems very suspicious to me. <laughs> oh, and after all that, I end the week or the working week anyway sat in my garage, in front of all my toys, ready to record our podcast. Um, I think I'm going to try and get into the habit of reminding you that exists every Friday when we record it. It's the Mature Gamer Podcast. You can find it by searching for MGP on iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher or Spreaker or any of the other places podcasts live, or it's here on YouTube as Mature Gamer Podcast. It's awesome. Me, Anna, me and Anna host it, along with Sheepdog and Pab, who you see in our Comic-Con videos. Uh, you should come along and have a little listen. It's out every Saturday morning. It's about games and pop culture nerdiness, and it's it's just fun. Plus, we are doing that event that we talked about last week, MGPX. Um, we need we need to sell tickets to book the venue. So if you want to come and see us do a live podcast and meet up with us and have a laugh and have a good time and waste an entire Saturday of the summer holidays, um, you can do that by going to lelujo.fm slash MGPX and getting your tickets through the indiegogo page it's also the chance to win some awesome goodies on there too but i need to record that podcast now or else that whole sales pitch is for nothing if there's no no podcast coming out tomorrow so hopefully you have enjoyed this vlog if you have please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs and thank you very much for watching <laughs> <laughs>